The first uh, challenge that we took on was access to services, and we did that in our caribou outpatient, and we, we moved uh, towards uh, an access group, and we went from uh, somewhere around a 35-day wait down to four days. We used to lose about 50% of clients who contacted us for service because of the way we were attempting to get them engaged and we changed that whole process. Now about 90% of the people that call us actually come in to an appointment. Before the change project, we were carrying baseline data of if the client even showed up to treatment, it would take them about 28 days before they would show up. And at this point now, we're down to about, um, you know, a direct transfer over. And for those clients who, you know, just register but don't start group right away, there's like a seven day window. We received data back from the state in 2007 that said our clients complete treatment at a rate of 73%. We were compared against 18 other programs in the state whose average completion rate of treatment was 25%. So not only is the bottom line improving, but so is the quality of care. The word in the community is we're the place to go because we're asking the clients for their input about what we can improve, about what they want in our services. So that's been real exciting. About every month, some client tells a therapist there, I was, I was told I had to come here. People hear that we're um, the best in the state, that we're very good, that we care. Uh, two weeks ago during group therapy, the 14 clients told the two counseling staff and group how welcome they feel at the Jackie Nitschke Center. And that's, that's what's important to me is just make people feel welcome. We've been able to do more uh, with less because as we continue to try to, to implement changes, some of them work, some of them don't. Um, when I look at what we've done with our intensive outpatient program, uh, we're providing more service with less, with less staff time, less staff travel, and also given our rural nature, um, there's, there's been a number of times over the last few months where we would have had to cancel the group because we wouldn't have had enough customers in one location, but because we're using accessing two locations, we're able to continue to do the group, which is good for the customers and it's also good for our, our bottom line. In our outpatient office, we were able to identify 26 hours of nonverbal screening time. And by changing the way we did our screening processes, we were able to reclaim that time and the counselors were able to spend more time with the clients. We went ahead and did the most conservative calculation we could by simply averaging out the salaries, average salaries of those kind of people who did intakes and calculating the cost per per hour, per minute. And, and we found out to our great surprise that we had achieved cost effectiveness of over $111,000. We are more prepared because we have identified areas where we know that we can improve in efficiency and we can reduce additional waste. And that will ultimately help us use every dollar that is available to provide good care to our clients. We saw an increase of uh, initially around $1,000 a month because of the decrease in no-show cancellation rate and that's gone as high as $3,000 a month. Our most recent change was uh, implementing the use of uh, compressed video and we're running some intensive outpatient groups between Fort Kent, Maine and Madawaska and we had a decrease from 50% no-show cancellation to 8%. Uh, and an increase of somewhere around $6,000 uh, a month in our ability to bill during that period of time. We are able to please our funders more than we were in the past by having better relationships with them. Um, using NITEC's methods of process improvement has helped us understand the value of those relationships and we then, as we see the state who's our primary funder, or as we see other opportunities coming along, federal funds or whatever, if, if we can tell the direction they're wanting us to go into, using NITEX methods of process improvement can help us get to those places quickly so that we can compete better for funding. NITEX gave us a strategic advantage because we took additional people who needed services, we were able to provide those services 
we received from our funder additional funding, $1.5 million that year. That funding has been sustained and we found that as our performance improved relative to access to care, our funders had greater confidence in us and we received more funding. We found that the sum total of all of these changes since we initiated uh, the NIATEX Process Improvement Initiative at St. Christopher's Inn, that we've generated an additional $1.4 million in revenue. You know, facing these hard times for funding this year, being able to tell two or three staff, you know, your job is safe today because of, you know, we implemented this three years ago, this NIATEX model that we, you know, we thought it was going to help us with our access and retention and no-shows. And here, it helped us by, you know, increasing our revenues. Now we're able to keep you here, keep you employed, keep you doing what, what counts.